Ethanol Metabolism Have you guys met Dita? He's the face of Chalk Talk. Now, Dita is celebrating something very special today. He's celebrating Carnival, which is known in some countries as Mardi Gras. During Carnival, people come together to celebrate before the start of Lent, the 40-day period before Easter. They often wear costumes and indulge in large quantities of alcohol. Now, Dita is drinking a beer with all of his friends. The ingested alcohol from the beer is almost completely absorbed by Dita's body. It quickly enters the bloodstream, spreads throughout his body, and eventually reaches the brain where it initiates its classical intoxicating effect. As the alcohol disseminates, it also starts to metabolize. The primary site of ethanol metabolism is the liver. However, other organs are also able to metabolize alcohol, but to a lesser degree. These include the kidneys, lungs, and digestive organs. Let's take a closer look at the process of ethanol metabolism. In the first step, ethanol is oxidized to acetaldehyde. By doing so, Dita's body makes things worse, as acetaldehyde is even more toxic to cells than ethanol. In the cell, this reaction can occur in three different ways. Most of the ethanol is oxidized by alcohol dehydrogenase. This enzyme requires nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, in short, NAD+, as a cofactor. A very small amount of ethanol can also be converted to acetaldehyde in other ways, by catalase or by cytochrome P450-dependent monooxygenase. The metabolic pathway via monooxygenase becomes increasingly important with regular alcohol consumption since monooxygenase expression is induced by ethanol. A large amount of reactive oxygen species is produced during the conversion process involving monooxygenase, contributing to liver damage. In the second step, acetaldehyde is converted into non-toxic acetate. This conversion is catalyzed by acetaldehyde dehydrogenase and also requires NAD as a cofactor. Therefore, the rate of ethanol metabolism is limited primarily by the recycling of NAD. During alcohol metabolism, the cell is in a special metabolic state with increased fatty acid synthesis. This is because both NADH and acetate inhibit fatty acid degradation. In addition, Acetate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A and can therefore be used as a building block in energy metabolism, for example, in fatty acid synthesis. If Dita would celebrate carnival on a regular basis, he would eventually develop a beer belly. The next day, Dita has a very bad hangover from all that alcohol. Ugh. This is due to the buildup of acetaldehyde in the body and the dehydration associated with alcohol consumption. As ethanol reduces antidiuretic hormone release, this causes an increase in the amount of water excreted by the kidneys. If Dita would develop an alcohol addiction as a result of regular consumption, Dita's physician could also take advantage of the negative effects of acetaldehyde. The drug disulfiram inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase and slows the breakdown of acetaldehyde. As a result, continued alcohol consumption causes increased discomfort. If large volumes of alcohol are consumed despite disulfiram use, the result is a disulfiram ethanol reaction with moderate to severe adverse effects due to increased levels of acetaldehyde in the blood. Fortunately, Dita only drinks alcohol occasionally. He hopes that you have fun celebrating Carnival.